friends, and welcome. We're wrapping up our series of weekly devotionals today with our look at uh, a passage in Philippians, uh, and talking about what Paul is teaching and what he's not teaching. Years ago, I was on a youth retreat, and I was asked to portray the character of Lazarus, that uh, friend of Jesus, that, that uh, Jesus uh, had raised from the dead. And I went uh, full bore zombie look. I, I had rags on uh, and, and, and makeup and messed my hair up. I looked like um, a character on The Walking Dead. But uh, a couple of years later, I was taking a class at Moravian Seminary, and our instructor was talking about that passage in the Bible uh, where, where Jesus uh, had, had raised Lazarus. And he was very clear in, in saying that Lazarus was not resurrected. Uh, the, the, the raising of Lazarus is different than the raising of Jesus. And he went on into a lot of theological details about the differences between the two. Um, but uh, that leads me to my point about uh, this, this uh, passage that Paul is writing because Paul alludes to the resurrection, and he says, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by becoming like him in his death, if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. But what Paul is not really talking about here is the actual physical resurrection, the the resuscitation of the human body. What, what Paul is talking about is what Jesus' resurrection means for us in the here and now, not, not in some future uh, uh, age or some future day when we are raised, but what Jesus' resurrection means for our living today. And what Paul teaches his his listeners, his community in Philippi, is that uh, Jesus' resurrection gives hope in the here and now, that even in sufferings, even in difficulties and challenges, even in the midst of a world that is often opposed to, to love and compassion, a world that often follows the ways of, of death and destruction, uh, that we can experience hope and promise and love and joy, and life by following Christ. And so uh, that's really what being Easter people is all about, uh, being people of the resurrection, is, is not just hope for the future, but, but uh, living a new kind of transformed life in the here and now. And so uh, perhaps we might today look for signs of resurrection uh, around us in our lives in in our present time in the here and now amen